was called originally. I took a photo of the register. It was called a peppermint frost. Oh, that's pretty good too. I remember. God damn it. I really kind of like the peppermint rose frost. It's a cool little mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. We bail this issue. Yeah, it is. Give me two minutes just to put things in the fridge. I'll be with you. Shh. Shh. Okay, let's go. Hello, oh, how, how are you doing? How are you getting on? I am doing good. Thanks for asking. How about you, sir? So good. Yeah, I'm doing not too bad, not too bad at all, thanks. So, um, what kind of experience have you got prior to this, to, like working in a kebab shop? Like stall, have you, have you worked in any stalls in the past? Um, the thing is, um, I don't remember my past and recently the only oh. place I've worked is, uh, at senior funds. Okay. Okay. Well, it's, it's quite similar to be fair. The only thing you've got to keep on top of is the stock. So for example, your ingredients and things like that. So in the shop, there's like various different, you know, stations you can kind of work at. So. You've got the assembly area where you actually make up the food. You've got the drink section. And you've got the chopping boards and the... And obviously slicing the meat up for the beef. Um, I'm going to get Rodri to kind of show you from start to finish on how it works. Um, you can have a look in the fridge as well to get, like, you know, get a little familiarization with the, the ingredients and stuff. Um, and what, obviously, how to do it. Are you comfortable with speaking to customers yeah like is that an issue or is it so you're fine with that no there's no issue with that okay perfect so you're quite suited for all the stations then i'd imagine that's what the, well, from what i'm hearing so far i don't know so i can't really tell you i mean i'll let you with the no, judge what, what, what i mean is what what i mean is that you're comfortable with trying them all because some people aren't comfortable with speaking to people, for example, doing the register. So I'm just making sure that if you've got any, if there's any situations that you wouldn't like to face to make sure you're comfortable. No, okay, I think I can handle everything, so. Okay, perfect, okay. Um, I well, just have one question, Bell. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um. Uh, I don't think I ever applied for the job. I was under the impression that Rodri had already had this discussion with you. No. Because that's what Rodri said to me. That's what he's communicated to me. He never told me that. Hmm. Okay. As I said, I was under the impression that Roger had this conversation prior to this. No, sir. He didn't. Oh, okay. Well, the first question I'm going to ask you is, do you want a job? Or do you want a job? Because if not, then we can just close the conversation here. But if so, then we can proceed. What did Roger actually say? 
Roger says that you could that you were interested in working at the kebab shop. Well, um, the thing is, we can we can patch this whole conversation um, by one question: Would you like to work at the kebab shop? Do you need workers, Stacey? Um, well, you can never have too many workers. Um, what? You help us out, so I'm, I'm trying to help you out if, if you'd like. How about this? Um, you give me the job, but only for one month. That's all. And you can see so four weeks. what I can do. Yeah, for four weeks. Okay. And here. After that, um, if you want to hire me, you can tell me. Um, well, what we can do is rather than one month, we can do one week. That uh, sounds wonderful. Sure. Okay, yeah, I think one week's more respectable than one month. You know, I feel like four weeks can be a little long. Whereas okay. in one week, you've got seven days to kind of obviously show what you can do and how you can cope with things. Then we can take it from there. Okay, uh, that sounds good to me. Sure. Okay. Um, so when are you usually awake? Um, when NA like time. Okay. So NA, maybe end of NA? Uh, the start of NA, actually. Um, I have one question before that. How many hours yeah. do you expect or do how many hours is compulsory for me to work at the shop? I've got no restrictions on how long you want to work or if you don't want to work at all. At the end of the day, if you if you want to have fun, go and have fun, you go and have fun. If you want to chill for a bit, yeah, feel free to work at the kebab shop. You know, make some money, sell sell some food, make some fun, you know? Um... Do, do you mind uh, if I tell you some rules that I have? If you've, if you've got rules, then please share. Um, I, I wear my helmet. I don't have to give my name to customers. Yep. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine. No reason, there should be no reason that customers should be asking your name anyway. And also uh, the helmet, we don't have a uniform or anything like that, you can feel free to wear what you like. Uh, okay. As long as you're comfortable, then I'm okay. happy. Okay. Uh, one week sounds good to me. Okay. Um, obviously, I, d I don't want to drag you away from anything you're doing just now. So if, if you want to work now, feel free. But if you don't, then that's completely fine as well. As I said, there's no pressure. Yeah, sure. I can start right now, actually. Sure. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, I think it makes sense if um, Rodri obviously shows you around. Sure. Because he we... is loud. <laughs> what was that, sorry? Oh, uh, whatever you think is good. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I'm going to speak to Rodri real quick, but feel free to come. Thank you. 